Hey guys! From a marketing perspective, the right name is far more critical for a vehicle than its features, performance specs, or even design. A well thought out and convincing name gives customers an image of strength, value, quality, and prestige, guaranteeing strong sales and popularity. Unfortunately, many strong and cool sounding names are already taken, and manufacturers struggle to find new ones. Finding appropriate names in other languages is often the best way to provide the vehicle with a cool-sounding name. There is always, however, a significant risk that what sounds perfect in one language may be very offensive in another. Here are five of the best, or should we say worst, examples. Number 1. Hyundai Kona There is nothing offensive about the Hyundai Kona. It's a simple and popular compact SUV with decent features, dynamics, and price. It also comes as an electric version for those who want to be especially kind to the environment. So, why is it featured on our list? Well, in most parts of the world, Kona means nothing in particular, just four letters combined in a simple word. However, in Portugal, Brazil, and the rest of the Portuguese-speaking countries, Kona is a derogative and very offensive term describing a particular part of the female anatomy. At first, Hyundai's marketing people didn't have a clue. But as soon as their colleagues from Portugal called, company managers decided to change the name to Kawaii, at least for customers in Portugal and Brazil. Number 2. The Ford Probe Back in the late 80s, Ford decided to retire the Mustang, and instead of a rear-wheel drive coupe with a V8, introduced something more sensible and based on a front-wheel drive platform from Mazda. Fortunately, due to enormous protests from the muscle car-loving fanbase, Ford's bosses killed that idea. They kept the Mustang running freely, but presented the Ford Probe, a junior sports car with aerodynamic styling and a funny name. Although they thought that the Probe would give visions of some NASA-style spaceship discovering galaxies far, far away, for most people, the name Probe sounded like a proctological device. This was not a very pleasant association, and ultimately led to a not very successful car. Number 3. The Audi TT Coupe this one is an interesting and slightly morbid entry to the list, and it's about the Audi TT Coupe. You might think that there's nothing that can go wrong when you just have two of the same letters, TT, and one universally used word like coupe or coupe, but it can. The TT Coupe in French is pronounced very similar to the term tête coupe, which means cut off head. We even think that there's a strange connection between the guillotine from French history and a sports coupe from Germany, since both chop heads. Number 4. Gaylord Gladiator Now here is a real treat for people looking for unusual cars, names, and automotive obscurities. No, we didn't make this up, and there really was a car named the Gaylord Gladiator. Introduced in the 50s by two wealthy brothers and named after their hometown of Gaylord, Michigan, the Gladiator was a fast and luxurious sports car. Back in those days, the word gay only meant joyful or carefree. However, the primary meaning of this term has significantly changed over the years. The Gaylord Gladiator wasn't a successful project, no surprise. Even though it was well-designed and powerful, it was also very expensive and complicated. If someone tried to make a car with the same name today, we think that even members of the LGBT community would probably be offended, not to mention the outrage from more conservative members of society. Number 5. Daihatsu Naked The car industry in Japan has a long history of producing cars with strange names. In most cases, names are funny, like the Suzuki Cappuccino, the Mazda Bongo, or the Mitsubishi Lettuce. But there are some weird ones, like our fifth car on the list, the Daihatsu Naked. The Naked is a tiny, boxy K car, designed and sold only in Japan. It has a microscopic three-cylinder engine with just 658 ccm and up to 63 horsepower. It's perfect for narrow Tokyo streets, enormous traffic jams in Japan, and small parking spaces. However, there is the name, Naked. We still can't quite figure out, should you drive naked, or do you feel naked when you're driving this Daihatsu? We don't know. Number 6. Toyota Chicane Toyota is the most popular car brand in the Australian market, and one of the secrets of its success is the wide range of models. When Toyota Australia developed a more dynamic and sporty version of the Avalon, they made a list of several potential names and sent them to their bosses in Japan. One of the names on the list was Chicane, 
For most people in the world, the word chicane sounds cool since it's connected to the racing world and also symbolizes performance and winning. In Japan, however, a chicane is a pervert who attacks women on public transport. Needless to say, the Toyota chicane never entered production. So, there you are. Thanks for watching. Cheers!